the Trump administration is doubling down on its plan to build a nuclear reactor on the moon, and we're learning more about how it will work. Acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy says it all starts next year with the launch of the Artemis II mission. It will circle the moon, collecting data and scouting locations. Then the next mission, Artemis III, will see American astronauts making a historic visit. We're going to land back on the moon and uh, we're going to stay for six days. The longest before that was three days. And then we're going to start the process of building our base on the moon. The reactor will be near the moon's south pole, where there's water that can be used to sustain a permanent base. Officials say that's important because American adversaries like Russia and China are starting to accelerate their own moon-based military programs. We have seen China move uh, breathtakingly fast over the last couple decades. They are putting a focus on trying to dominate space, and it's our job to ensure we protect uh, American interests. Duffy says it's about exploration not military conquest. What we learn on the moon is going to allow us to go to Mars. But Democrats on Capitol Hill are heavily criticizing the plan, saying it's a waste of money that could be used right here at home. This administration wants to put a nuclear reactor on the moon. Yes. I'm concerned about accessible housing here on Earth. The administration says if all goes according to plan, the moon reactor will be in place by the end of the decade. In Washington, Ryan Schmelz, Fox News.